Okay, welcome back to another MTO League. Back to some Team of Rhinos today, um, otherwise known as Crash Cade, I suppose. Um, so we are running through Arceus Dota's list from his or her winning um, challenge list um, over the weekend. So um, went on to their Twitter. Um, you can see see the list. So there's one card changed um well two cards changed um the original list had two prismari commands in place of these subtleties um but the winning tweet um said that prismari command was pretty rubbish and wished there were subtleties instead so i have gone with that um other than that it's pretty standard i think 25 lands is quite a lot we've got two ottawaras um, we've got two cycle lands in Fiery Islet and Waterlog Grove. We've got one of Gemstone Caverns. We are running the Triome, running a Besiege as well. Um, so that all looks good. And then the sideboard, pretty standard. Blood Moons, Disputes, Bit of Vigors. And then four copies of Leyline of the Void. This is instead of any Endurance. Um, so it was said to be... Um, the choice for this tournament because it gets around ley line of sanctity so if you're against um if you're against what's it called uh dredge or more likely living end um ley line of sanctity prevents endurance from from being effective against them but ley line of void obviously just starts on the battlefield um yeah ley line of sanctity does nothing against that so so yeah let's um give this a go it's been a been a little while since we played any any rhinos um this is uh, it was kind of up there for me to test this week um i've got an upcoming i can't remember what they're called is it pptq i'm gonna call it pptq <laughs> um got an upcoming one of those um here in the uk um and yeah, it's it's one of my choices for that tournament, um, along with the the four color lists. Um, so yeah, let's let's see how this goes. Okay, um, easy mulligan here. Only one land. Hmm. This is okay. I think we'll keep it. Um, need red mana. Oh, we're gonna play the triome on one. Maybe we just get rid of could be island yeah let's do island here okay so this is red black mid range um which i think is uh i think came out there's a primer came out on reddit the other day I'm assuming that's what it is. Could be mono black, but doubtful. I think. Okay, there's Den. What we see could be Dalfi Voidwalker. Could be Croxer. Could be Dashed Ragavan. That's a Torak. Want to draw a Cascader here, really? Um, let's go Foothills pass so yeah really going to want to draw um yeah one of our two cascade spells uh, another thought sees that's fine probably takes don't know they probably take brazen borrower here we could have bounced torak in response i suppose or it grows with with the thoughts he's okay hits us for three um unlikely to be blood moon in my opponent's deck so um let's go and, we'll go and get another red land i think uh just steam vents here Okay, subtlety not a bad draw. We'll play this Waterlog Grove and pass. It's 
So we can force something if we need to. Next turn we can hard cast subtlety. We can block the Torak. Seas and Pyromancer. So we could subtlety that, but I think that's fine. Seas and Pyromancer are a really good card. Okay, discard some stuff. A bit surprised they discard the um, the Douthi. Pretty good against us. We could crack there. Okay, so now I think we're just going to pitch Fury. Just kill quite a lot of stuff. So we'll go two damage here. Just kill all my opponent's creatures. Stop the clock a little bit. Now we're protected by this subtlety somewhat. Uh, I think we probably subtlety whatever my you know if my opponent goes. If my opponent goes for thought seeds, we'll force it. If they go for a okay, we'll just subtlety. Well, we could subtlety that. Or we could just subtlety to block. Hmm. I'm just going to settle to, yeah, because if my opponent, opponent probably has removal. So if we go subtlety to block, but then my opponent kills it. Okay, they put Ragaban on the bottom. Okay, so we want a Cascader now. Oh, that's a good draw. So yeah, we can attack him with the subtlety in the knowledge that we can violent outburst. If my opponent should wish to attack with Season Pyromancer. Okay, or a Ragavan of course. Okay, we'll make some rhinos here. And opponent concedes from the game. So yeah, get there in uh, game one. Let's go to sideboard. Okay, don't really know what we want here. Um, force of negation isn't very good. Don't know what they have in their sideboard. Um, I, yeah, I do want to get rid of these forces. We could bring in ley lines, but I mean they run Croxer, but I don't think that's good enough to bring in ley line necessarily. Blood Moon could be okay. Force of Vigor could be okay. They're probably running some number of Chalice of the Void. So maybe. Hmm. Maybe we do want the forces against that. Maybe we'll just do two forces of each kind until we see what kind of hate piece my opponent's bringing in. Um. Blood Moon can be okay, but they are red and they do have Ragavan, so I don't think it's very, very good there. Yeah, we'll just go with that. And we're kind of, you know, we've, we've got outs to a lot of stuff. Um, if my opponent's taking advice from Aspiring Spike, um, which is never a bad idea, <laughs> um, they'll probably have some number of Chalice and uh, Void Mirror in the side. Void mirror better if it comes, if it hits the battlefield. Okay, this hand is really good. Um, I think so. We've got a cascader. We've got a way to kill turn one Ragavan. No turn one Ragavan is forthcoming. Okay, force is good as well. Um, so I'll play a Wooded Foothills and pass. I don't think the opponent will be on Blood Moon. But they could be. Could be Void Walker as well. Okay, Void Mirror. I think I'm just going to force that. Because um, we're obviously unable to unable to force or subtlety with Void Mirror in play anyway. Um, get steam vents there. Ok, 
Okay, so we draw another land, not the best. We could hold on to this triome to cycle. What do we think about that? Yeah, I think now that we've got this number of lands, it's fine to hold on to cycle. So the opponent's going to need, I mean, they could have another Void Mirror, they could have a Chalice of the Void. Hopefully it's just Liliana. Okay, Liliana. So we'll discard, I think it will be the Triome here. So I kind of wish I'd played it now, I suppose, but... Um, breeding pool, something ground. Got another red source there. We've got another green source as well. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Get breeding pool. Okay, I th opponent could be on blood moon, but I can't imagine they are. Misty rainforest fetching forest, fetching island is probably a good idea though. Inquisition, okay, so that kind of forces our hand here. We may just lose all of our spells, all of our rhinos as well. Because if the opponent has something like Fatal Push, um, Yeah, they, they could have push, they could have terminate. I doubt they're bringing in terminate. They could have engineered explosives. Ah, oh, Inquisition doesn't actually hit fire ice here. Uh, dead gone here, <laughs> which is nice. So yeah, we have to edict a creature. And they have got terminate. Okay, so Liliana are a bit of a problem. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we'll go for that here. So we'll just go fire, kill Liliana. Then we'll play the fiery islet and pass. Then if our opponent goes creature, we've got it covered. If they don't do anything here, Hmm, Season Pyromancer, can't really do anything against that one. So I think we're going to crack the Fiery Eye here, although I guess we could uh, we could draw Fury. Yeah, um, I think we're better off to here. I'd rather find a cascade spell. Besiege you. Okay, not the best draw. Uh, we're really not drawing that well. Uh, we'll play the forest. Play the one my opponent doesn't know about. I guess my, my opponent could den here. Um, if we don't... Uh, actually, I guess they know that we've got the dead gone. If we don't get to do anything else here we'll probably besage you the den of the bugbear just to just to uh, get rid of it okay so we'll obviously kill that dead gone fulfilling its uh, <laughs> intended purpose. So I think I'm just going to besage you here. Could be a Collagans command. Oh, another Season Pyromancer. That's pretty good. So yeah, we're going to need to make some Rhinos, really. Yeah, I think I want to use my mana here. So let's besage you the den. 
Like obviously it gives my technically it gives my opponent another mana. So Shardless Agent, Fury's really Oh, we can't actually cast Fury now. Oh, that's a nice one. Play the land, pass the turn. Yeah, can't actually cast Fury at the moment. Okay, Torax, so in response, we violent outburst. So we don't have to discard any cards to Torak. Make two four fours. Friends my opponent attacking as well. So we draw. Okay, Brazen Borrow is pretty good. <laughs> um I actually think we're gonna attack now. Because now if my opponent goes you know, if they go to double block, I guess if they if they double block with season pyromancers, we're probably just letting that happen because we don't want to bounce one. Maybe that was a bad attack. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably a poor attack there. Though we get to kill both of my opponent's pyros. Engineered explosives. Okay, so that makes things quite a lot harder. <laughs> I think here we're going to bounce the elemental and then we can start swinging in for three. Oh, opponent found another season pyromancer. Draw two cards. So we're um yeah, it's not looking great for us here. Okay, we'll draw a card with that one. Hmm, Fury, maybe we should have waited. Because my opponent finds yeah. They haven't got Collagen's command, they would have used it in our draw step. We need to find a red land, really. Ooh, dashed Ragavan. Yeah, this isn't great now. Taking six here, which is lethal next turn. Oh, a mountain would have been perfect. Opponent can also make the tokens from Spyro. So yeah, we need a red land essentially. Okay, subtlety is okay. So blocks. Mm, opponent makes the tokens is the problem. I guess they can make the tokens and then we can subtlety the Ragavan. And then top deck something. <laughs> I guess subtlety can then block. Okay, let's cast this. I mean, all of this is assuming my opponent doesn't have anything. Opponent should attack in with everything here, I think. Put Ragavan on the bottom. Dead to a bolt, dead to a terminate. Okay, that gets fear, but that's fine. So they want to save their Torak. Yeah, I like this attack from the opponent. So opponent's got a season pyromancer in any way, so I'll just take as little damage as possible. 
trouble is now I guess we could find a red if we find a red spell then actually we're in pretty good shape red spell brazen borrower hmm that's an interesting one because we can go bounce here <clears throat> block an elemental opponent can't make any more elementals hmm okay so we'll attack him with brazen borrower and then we've actually got if we can manage to so my opponent will give Torak fear again obviously we're dead to something like lightning bolt so we can so my opponent will give Torak fear we bounce it block one of the elementals so obviously assuming okay we'll let them go to combat okay that makes sense so we'll just bounce this and actually we have lethal on the swing back because all of these have flying hopefully it's just kicked to right that's fine I mean the hmm the opponent could have Oh, they've got the lightning bolt. Oh, that's a shame. Ugh. Okay, so they probably thought we were holding up um, force of negation. Yeah, that's a bit of a... <laughs> I think we were really coming back in there. I guess we had some really good draws to help us out. But um, annoying to, to lose to the, the bolt there. Um, so opponents got quite a lot of of hate pieces by the look of it um force it's whether we want force of vigor or force of negation i suppose um do we want the subtleties i think we want the subtlety just an extra attacker I think, yeah, I think let's go with that. Right, uh, yeah, I'd like to go first. Hmm, if we can find another land, this is fine. We've got quite a good sort of mid rangey hand. We've got 25 lands. I don't really want to mulligan. We kill a turn one Ragavan. I think we can manage to keep this. Fiery Islet, not the best land. We are going to need to find a, exactly a green land. This hand not bad against uh, things, sort of the various hate pieces as well. Land? Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so this hand's, yeah, we, we like this hand now, I like it a lot. Could be a like void walker, but that's fine. So fetch. So what do we need? Uh, we need forests, so we could get basic forests, but we've got this fury, so I think we'll just get stomping ground. We're going to take some damage from our lands, but uh, we'll wait until my opponent's end step actually, because if they go second main, Uh, if they go second main phase, chalice on zero, that's uh, obviously pretty bad. Okay, so we're going to go for the Shardless Agent here. Quite a big tempo swing if my opponent has to spend a load of mana to... Uh... to go E on zero. We've got seven cards. If it's just like Liliana or something. Fatal push. Terminate. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Not the best draw. 
just try and press our advantage with a bone crusher giant here. We've got six power on the field still. And we've got a lot of interaction in hand. Okay, thought sees. Seeing a pretty stocked hand. See what they take. Probably take well. It's either Brazen Burrow or Bone Crusher, I'd say. Okay, they take Fury, so they must I would imagine then they have seasoned pyromancer in hand. Given that we haven't got any lands. Dunno, it really depends on the contents of my opponent's hand, but um I think they're possibly on season pyromancer. Uh, something that cares about fury but not about these spot removal spells. Okay, Liliana. Tick up or down. We'll sacrifice Shardus Agent. Okay, so we find a land. So I think we'll go Wanna suspend footfalls, deal two to Liliana. I would probably still want to hold up. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to twelve. Cause I don't want to um die to a ragavan off the top. We'll go stomp here. We could just play another bone crusher, I suppose. Suspend this footfalls. Yeah, maybe we were meant to just play Bone Crusher there. Not sure. Okay. Bone Crusher deals my opponent some more damage. Could be a Torak, but we can kill the Torak. We do have a den of the bugbear. Okay, so they do have seasoned pyromancer. Which is pretty good here. So I'm gonna use use the mana here and just kill it. Okay. Um do you want to play Bone Crusher or just hold up effect? I think here I'm happy holding up effect. You know, end of turn we can go Brazen Borrower. If my opponent goes to activate the den, we'll kill it with Fire Ice. If they kick a Torak, we'll uh, kill it with Fire Ice again. Okay. So we could go bounce and then draw. No, there's no point in drawing. We could go bounce the Torak. Fire Ice my opponent. Hmm. Then my opponent still has what's better, just killing the Torak. Oh, actually, we can deal the Torak one damage, so yeah, that's probably his best. Get it, get it gone. And then we can probably draw a card with this Fiery Islet after that. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, we find a violent outburst, <laughs> which is obviously pretty good. Play Scolding Tarn, pass. See what my opponent does here. If they go to activate Den, make 
few rhinos here in response to the croxa. They've got another land, they could go escape Croxa this turn, which does deal a six damage this turn. Which is pretty scary. Okay. Hmm, Chalice on uh Chalice on Zero and Croxa is about as good as my opponent could have got here. Hmm. So, hmm, because we can't cast our, unless we find our force. So we're going to go to five here. See the opponent's got their den of the bugbear as well. Do we want to fetch? We'd go to four, which makes den lethal. We can fetch a basic mountain or island. Yeah, I think we can just... Okay, find force of negation. Not great. So the opponent will attack. We'll, I think we, well, we haven't really got much choice here. We just, oh, hold on. This game's fear, doesn't it? So we're just dead because they've got Shizo. Oh, uh, come on, that's really annoying. Well, yeah, we just have to hope my opponent doesn't see it, I suppose. This deck seems really good, really fun. Just needed, I guess, Fire Ice there would have been great. Brazen Borrower. Uh, opponent has got the Inquisition anyway. Yeah, we just die here. Opponent gives this fear. Yeah, we can't block it. Oh, GG's. But, um, yeah, that, that Croxo is brutal. Maybe we were meant to bring in Leyline. Don't feel like we were. I feel like we got fairly unfortunate in games to, I don't know, maybe, hmm, I don't know, I don't think anything, yeah, that Croxer was real bad, maybe we misboarded there, oh well, um, on to the next match. Right, on the play here, I think we can probably keep this, we just need to draw into a Cascader. Maybe we should be mulliganing cards that don't have cascaders, but we're on the play and we've got a fire ice, so put it mulligans to five. Okay, so let's lead off on Misty Pass. Put it mulligans to five. So we're thinking Dredge or Tron, but Temple Garden. Slippery Bogle. <laughs> uh, this matchup is probably bad. Especially when you draw all of your dead gons. So we'll tap down the Temple Garden here. We need to draw a Cascade spell. Praise and borrow are not that great. I guess we can. Oh, Besage is quite good here, I suppose. Can destroy uh, enchantment, ethereal armor, sure. Is that the totem armor one? No. Okay, 2 2 with first strike we can beat, potentially. If my opponent goes. So an interesting interaction. If my opponent goes Daybreak Coronet, we can destroy the Ethereal Armor in response and then Coronet Fizzles because it can't enchant a non-enchanted creature. 
Okay, so Waterlog Grove will suspend a Rhinos and pass the turn. So we kind of want to see just Daybreak Coronet here. Okay, Spirit Dancer is actually quite good. Are we going to use the mana? I think no, I think you just have to pass. Okay, Shardless Agent. Yeah, I think we go for that. We've got the. F well, uh, I'm not actually convinced this is correct. Because. Now, yeah, we probably should have killed the Spirit Dancer and done this next turn. Although, having blockers here, this is whenever you cast. We do have a Force of Negation, though. So, this is. What is this? Whenever an aura enters the battlefield, if you cast it, it may search your library for an aura cast, may have value less than equal to. Better cut onto the battlefield. Okay. Didn't know that was a thing, <laughs> but um, we at least have some some targets for our dead guns now. Okay, so we'll go. Hmm. Let's attack with the rhinos first. Can't kill both. Plus two, plus two. Plus two, plus two. So we won't actually have. Okay, so we'll we're definitely killing something. This draws cards. This searches, but this gets plus two, plus two. They're both going to grow kind of out of range. I guess we'll just kill this one. Hmm. Opponent's stuck on lands. Yeah, I think we're we're happy to kill the spirit dancer here. We could play Besiege but I think I'd rather hold it up. Like we beat a lot of stuff here. We don't want my opponent to find the one that gives life link. Life link. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So you could force. I think I'm just going to bounce that one though. Oh, we're into the battle. Oh, okay, so didn't realize that was into the battlefield. I thought it was a cast trigger, but um, spirit mental protection from creatures. Sure. Okay, so should be okay here because we can just go bounce the staggering. So we'll go petty theft this. We get to make some more rhinos next turn. Oh, another brazen borrower. <laughs> Protection from creatures. So if we go bounce this. Okay, we're just gonna. I think we just attack with everything. See what happens. We've got all of us effective and speed, so we make our opponent do some awkward blocks here. Don't really want to use this Perseus you because it would might give my opponent a land for some like path to exile. Okay, so we just go bounce this and then we win the game. Deal my opponent exactly seven damage.
Okay, so opponent was stuck on two lands. We kind of found the interaction we needed. Interestingly, my opponent playing two lots of this these kind of spirit dancer effects. Um, that light pour seems pretty good in this deck. So we definitely want all of these <laughs> force of vigors. Um, subtlety seems good. We don't want well dead gone was okay. Um, get rid of a fury. We could bring in disputes. I guess these dead guns. I guess they're probably better than fury because they kill spirit dancer or that other creature. I'll just go with something like that. We'll be bringing in mystical disputes on the play because it can counter a turn one slippery bogle. Okay, I think this is okay if we find a well maybe we shouldn't be keeping this without a cascader but if we can find a green car we can kill two enchantments although i guess this hand needs quite a lot of help print moles of five this time There's the Bogle. Okay, Shard of Asian is a green card. <laughs> um, let's just go Scalding Tarn and pass. I can't imagine we'll want to force here. Well, Curious Obsession is pretty good. Mm, but I, I still don't think we want to use a force. At least not until my opponent plays another one. And they still miss a land. So you can actually, well, Basage is a bit awkward here. What we really want is for my opponent to go land Daybreak Coronet. Okay, so now we'll use. Hmm. Yeah, I think we will now. And next turn we can go cast bone crusher. Hold up force and subtlety. Okay, opponent finds another land. Rancor is fine. Okay, Bone Crusher stops the attack though. Okay, another subtlety is not actually too bad. I think we can just I think we just pass the turn, see what my opponent goes for. We'll force a Daybreak Coronet. If my opponent plays a, a different creature. Another Rancor. Plus two plus O. Oh, it's only plus two plus O though. Hmm. I can I sort of want to plus play this subtlety. I think they otherwise they might just rot in hand. I think I am gonna cast one. Start a bit of a clock. It's another blocker as well. Okay, well that's a good draw. Um, so we'll attack with the subtlety. I 
I guess we could in theory attack with both there, but I think I'd rather hold up. Hold up some effects and then end of turn. We can actually just subtlety them out here potentially unless they find a like daybreak coronet's obviously the scary one, which will force of negation. Uh plus three plus three vigilance and life link. So we could just go Actually, I think it's just force pitch subtlety and then violent outburst. So we probably win the game next turn. And we've got the Vesage as well. Okay, make some more rhinos. I'm assuming we're okay to just, yeah, opponent has to block. Actually, they can't even block enough. Yeah, they can't block enough damage. There's only one toughness, so Trample will, will get over. Okay, so we take down Bogles. Um, let's move on to the next round. Okay, we're on the play here. Uh, I think we're going to mulligan this. I think on the play we can afford to, to go for a Cascader on turn three. Ugh. Seven lands. Well, wow. okay. Uh, yeah, this is... I mean, it's fine on a mulligan. Uh, we'll keep put back... I think a Force and a Fury. Try and tempo them out here. So go... Yeah, just suspend on turn one and then we'll try and fire ice from turns two and three. As in, ice their land draw a card. If they play a Ragavan, we can beat it. Hallowed Fountain, Esper Sentinel. Okay, so uh, probably not tapping stuff here. But we can. Okay, that's a good draw. Maybe we are meant to tap their land. I think so. I think fire ice is decent anyway. Okay, that's what we didn't really want to see. I wanted to see a Memnite really. Hopefully they'll play one. So we'll go to the end step and then we'll go fire the Esper Sentinel. And yeah, we, we take the reason we're taking the damage here is in case my opponent thinks we're on fire ice. So let's just go grab island. Oh no, we can't grab island. It needs to be something like steam bent so it's violent outburst. Opponent's going to get to draw a card, which is not great, but. No real choice. And then I think we have to fire ice the stone forge here. Obviously, let's draw a land. We do draw a land, but Caldra is just too good, I think. We gotta go fire kill this. That's quite inefficient, I suppose, but Okay, there's a saga. We're probably bringing in Blood Moon. But it's got six cards in hand. Culture is obviously just really good against us. Hmm, another stone forge is pretty good. Got some nettle cyst. Hmm, that's pretty good as well. So you get to make rhinos potentially this turn and next turn. Hmm. Okay, that changes things. I think we just need to go fire, kill this. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that's better than letting Caldra resolve. And also my opponent can't save it with Spellbomb. Reality chip. Okay, so we get to make Rhinos this turn. 
So dumping eight power, then potentially another eight power. Okay, four's not too bad a draw. So opponent, yeah, we kind of wanted them to make the uh, <laughs> make the mana uh, make a token there. Okay, opponent gets chromatic star. Looks like they might be looking for lands, maybe. So it could be on Urza. Yeah, there's the Urza. So we're not too afraid of that. Well, I guess. A nettle cyst is quite large. I guess we could have forced there. Get to mate. Well, maybe we should have. Yeah, we could have forced there, but. Opponent did to. Did to quite a lot of things here, I suppose. Um. I suppose they can bounce a token with spell bomb. Oh, that's one of the worst draws. Um, five, ten. So opponent will go block here. Well, if they block here and then use the spell bomb, this token dies. So. Do we attack with everything? 16, opponent just, if an opponent just blocks one and then can potentially win on the crack back. So opponent goes block here, take 12 down to three. Hmm. They take 12 down to three and then they untap, they've got Five. Well, they've got this reality chip as well. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can attack here. Oh, that's really, really frustrating. Yeah, so what we needed there really was um, like a brazen borrower. Okay, thought to foundry. What do we think of that? We could just force that. I'm gonna force that. So, thought of the foundry, and then if my opponent has Sword of the Meek, they win the game this turn. They go infinite with that. Okay, opponent reconfiguring onto Urza. Okay, portable hole is unfortunate. We might just die here. Shadow spear as well. Eight eights. Hmm, yeah, that one key turn. Maybe I was meant to force the nettle sis. Can just beat us down with these germs. It's nine. Okay, so we'll go block, block. Opponent hasn't got any mana. I guess it's what's it best to kill. Probably hmm. I guess it's best to block this one because it's got Although this one's an artifact No, okay, so we're going to block the construct because it's an artifact as well We want to um 
Yeah, I'll block this one because it's an artifact. I'm going to go up to 24 life is the problem. So we can obviously dead gone something. We can't can't do it now. We have to wait for attacks. So we're going to bounce this token in combat. To fairy. Okay, so we have to go get rid of this. But then my opponent could probably just equip to Urza. I can bounce the token. I mean, this, yeah, this game's over. Opponent can go equip to Teferi and then, yeah. So we've got some sideboard against this one. Um, I think we're going to want to bring in the Blood Moons. And obviously we've got four Force of Vigor in the sideboard. Okay, so Force of Vigor. Actually, we've got quite a lot here. So Ley Lines aren't too bad against the combo. Subtlety's fine. Dead Gone is only okay. What to be cut? I guess we can cut gemstone caverns on the play. But now I've got 10 cards we need to get rid of. Dispute is good against Urza, but that is kind of... Oh, and Teferi. I guess Bone Crusher. Fury's probably good. Maybe Subtlety is not that great. This Force of Negation. No, because it doesn't counter. Well, it counters their artifacts. It doesn't counter. Is Blood Moon that good? Stops there as a saga. If they're going to be fetch shocking, maybe Blood Moon's not actually that good. Maybe they bring in two, bring in one Fury. Um, so we're going to risk this, I think. Thing. Just try and leverage the Blood Moon. Um, so we'll go Fire Ice into Blood Moon, hopefully. So we'll go Wooded Foothills first. It's the weakest fetch land. Let's go and get the Triome, I think. Oh, didn't mean to, to pass the turn there. Okay, so... Yeah, so we'll tap the Razor Tide Bridge. We can get Forest Island, I suppose. And it kind of gives the game away. Well, this can get Island, actually, so we might as well just get Steam Vents here. We can get Island later. We don't want to definitely give the game away. Okay, Force of Vigor. These lands are notably indestructible. Okay, so we'll slam Blood Moon here. Uh, yeah, well, I guess this is pretty good against that, but go grab an island. And essentially, we're just going for Teferi. Sword of the Meek. Okay, Basic Mountain, not the best draw. Got this Mystical Dispute though. Opponent can obviously make mana with this Chromatic Star. Okay, another Force of Vigor. <laughs> Uh, do we just cast this fury? I think we just cast this fury, start beating down. We've got double force of vigor if we need to. 
then after that we can just hold up mystical dispute opponent holding up this chromatic star in case they find base another one or something i guess might be their only land in hand is something like that there's a saga Some of the opponents got eight cards in hand. Okay, they path to exile that. Do we have another basic forest? Because that'd be quite nice. No, uh, we've got another basic island. Hmm. Okay, that was oh, that was my opponent's turn. Sure. So gonna need a land. Uh sorry. <laughs> Something to do. E for zero. Um, I guess we'll just dispute that. But we want to be able to win the game with rhinos. Draw another dispute. So we've got all the mana in the world. Opponents having to discard to hand size every turn. Just need to find a clock. I guess subtlety would be quite nice. Nope, more land. Um, sure. Notably, we're not running any of the like season pyromancer, uh, prismari command, looting kind of effects. Opponent finds another land. Nettle cyst. Well, we'll just dispute that one as well. Maybe we're meant to let that resolve. Cycle here. <laughs> Suspend a rhinos, there's your clock. Shard this agent. Let's see it. Dead gone. Okay, so at least that's a. I mean, it kills a creature. And it is red at least. Okay, another lamb for the opponent. There we go, that's what we want. Make 10 power, so you go. Okay, so opponent concedes from the game. So Blood Moon, very good there. Um, it's less likely to be that good on later turns. Um, obviously, uh, sorry, in the next game, opponent's probably going to yeah, opponent probably going to fury, um, fetch basics a lot more aggressively. So we can bring in gemstone caverns again. Uh, we'll take out Ottawara's fine. Maybe just take out a fetch land or a waterlog grove or something. Uh, yeah, let's just take out another land. So Blood Boom is obviously very, very strong there, but I don't imagine it's going to be very, uh, near, you know, kind of nearly as strong in the later games. I think Dispute is probably fine. Dead Gone's good at killing Shardless Agent. Uh, sorry. Um, Stoneforge. Although... It, it really, it's really difficult to know what we want to be be focusing on. Do we want to be focusing on the combo aspect or the the kind of creature beatdown aspect? Um, I think we'll just we'll just run that and see see what happens. But I'm really not sure about this. Okay, I think we've got ourselves a mulligan here. It's got a force and a dispute, but 
nothing else really going on um, this is better it's not I'd be much happier if we were on the play here um, opponents kept seven Uh, let's just tap blank go see what the opponent has maybe fire ice should well actually uh yeah i think fire ice should probably go actually here weird you, you very rarely cut fire ice um and i think but it's probably much better on the play opponent doesn't actually look like they're running things like um You know, Memnites and stuff. Okay, so I think we just go grab a forest here and then we're going to tap my opponent's white source. We don't really want my opponent playing either Thopta and Foundry here or an Urza. Tap a land. Hmm, we draw another land, which isn't great. Stoneforge Mystic can be an issue. Okay, we get the Caldra, which is scary. We do have answers to it in this deck. Um, let's just go and get an island. We haven't actually drawn any spells yet, which is obviously not great. So another talisman. They can just leave the okay. So they're just leaving the Caldra on defense here. I think we can just go and get a basic just in case we draw Blood Moon. See, so fairly ins very insulated against it this this game. So we wouldn't mind drawing Okay, Metallic Rebuke. Oh come on, more lands. We actually haven't drawn any spells this game. some more rhinos here play a breeding pool and the opponent's got a calendar as well it's not yeah it's not looking good because it's going to be Urza and they've got the calendar ready to come in Reality chip. How much does that cost to reconfigure? So we need to find, I guess, Fury off the top isn't too bad. That doesn't do anything. Mm. Mystical dispute, eh? So opponent can actually put Calder in here because they can tap the reality chip for mana. With Urza. Uh, yeah, this is really rough. I only got one card in hand. This construct's getting pretty scary. They can attach the reality chip. Really need to find Force of Vigor now. So bad. Thop to Foundry. They can pay for it, so you don't want to do that. 
Yeah, I don't think this Mystical Dispute is actually that good. Blood Moon we're probably playing now to get rid of the Urza Saga. Yeah, I think we're unfortunately dead here. Um, is there any disadvantage to blocking here? I think we, I think we will have to block. I think we got to get. Get some stuff off the field. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so we'll suspend, I guess, play Blood Moon. But don't get me wrong, we're in a really rough spot here. I think I've misboarded. I don't think these disputes are great. I don't think Blood Moon's that great, especially on uh, for this game three. I think they should have come out. We found another thing to put in with Stoneforge, maybe. Path. Sure. Not really sure why they're pathing there. Hmm. Okay. So, they, well, don't know. We've still got a lot of things to find here. As soon as the opponent finds th uh, Sword of the Meat, they do just win the game. But yeah, they've got these two talismans, so a little bit surprised that my opponent... Okay, so that Tribute Mage... Yeah, okay, so they win the game with that. They search their library for... Sword of the Meek and win the game. They play Sword of the Meek, we can't counter it. Yeah, because if this just goes infinite, then my opponent gains infinite life. Okay, so pretty rough again. I think I misboarded um, for game three, potentially. Um, although not drawing any spells in the first sort of five four or five turns was not great when we kept quite a land heavy hand um but yeah okay so take another loss there to urza